today's video, we're actually going to be checking out the X Cool Electric Precision Screwdriver Set. Now, I was actually going to buy one of these myself until the guys over at X Cool actually was like, yo, you want one of these to try out? And then, of course, I said, let's go ahead and let's get it done. Now we're going to be trying it out and seeing how useful it'll be here around the office. So before we jump into the overhead portion of the video, like I said, this video was sponsored by the guys over at Xcool. So make sure you give them guys a check out in the description below. I will be having some links down to their products and their Amazon webpage so you guys can check out the exact one that we're going to be unboxing here today alrighty guys so we are here at the unboxing table and this is of course the box here that it comes in nothing on the sides pretty generic and then of course we got our list of items that comes in the box here so we have electric precision screwdriver we have a precision drill bit we have nine of those we have the power cable flat tweezers in here we also have screw bits at 39 we got our user manual in here and then we also have a pry bar in here um, you have the perimeter so basically what it's made out of the charging port on here is a type c so i really like that the torque in manual mode is three newton meters and the torque in electric mode is 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 newton meters and that's between five levels so it's going to be pretty interesting to see how good this bat baby can take out some some screws in you know never know like a bottom of a camera plate or something like that and remember we will be going over some household uses that this can be used for as well so let's go ahead and open this bad baby up I'm actually not gonna use the knife because I don't know where it is I went to do this video and I was looking for it and I couldn't find it here we go I actually got the wrapping off from it and then we actually have like those pull tabs here and we have a couple boxes that were met here with it so, so let's go ahead and unbox this first and see what we might have in here I have to do is the quickest thing I could get to so in this box we have these flat tweezers like they was talking about there in the I'm guessing this is gonna be like the spudger that's actually kind of fun I like that okay so those are the first three items so far and then we actually have this last box and it's actually not taped. I should have opened this one first. Instruction manual came out with it. So, of course, we got instruction manual. And then we have the unit itself right here. This is my first time seeing it. So you guys are seeing it with me first time. Um, of course, you press this little button because it is a pretty sleek kind of setup we got going on here. And then, of course... USB-C right there on the bottom. So of course that's where you're gonna charge this bad baby. So here we go. This is what it looks like when it's all the way open and that is the aluminum casing on that bad baby. And then of course we got some bits on the back as well. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it charges in the case. Um, let's see if it got any Oh, it actually it has charge off the rip. That's actually pretty fast. So, all right, guys, this is going to be basically a small little unboxing and first impressions. Uh, let's see. Charges right back in there. Just like that. That is actually. Really cool. So, all right, guys, this is what you get in the package. Of course, the screwdriver itself charging cable, tweezers, and then this spudger. All of this right here in the box. I'm gonna let it charge up, and then I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alrighty guys, so we are here with the X-Cool electric precision screwdriver set that we unboxed in the last clip. Now I've actually 
went ahead and taken out some screws yes I've taken out some screws in the bottom of my Sony a7 II now that is of course the whole premise of this video was to show you guys how you can use the x cool electric precision screwdriver set to repair your a7 II a7 III or a7 IV and if you are comfortable with repairing your stuff you can of course grab you one of these electric precision screwdriver sets so firstly we're actually going to put our plate back on and we're going to identify all of our screws that we have. I believe we have two, four, six, eight. We have nine screws that we took out of the bottom of the Sony A7 II. So now um, let's go ahead and put that plate back on as you guys can see. And I already have my bit loaded up for this in the X Cool Mini Precision Screwdriver. Now it was pretty easy to just pull this bad baby out the end and put another one in there and then you're off to the races. Now as far as the strength that I have set on here, there is a button on the back of the screwdriver here. And if you press and hold it, it actually puts you into the mode selector. After you get in there, you can just press through the modes with that button as well, and then pick which mode you want to use. Now, I'm going to be using three while putting my screws back into the Sony a7 II, and that's because I'm not trying to over torque them and or rip the threads here on my camera. So let's go ahead and just kind of hand put some of these bad babies into the camera and then you want to press that one at the end and that's going to be for running her back in and that actually is kind of still torquey so I'm going to actually turn that down to maybe one on the torque setting Run it in. okay that's a little bit better on the torque and this will keep you from, you know, making your hand hurt with a very, very, very small screwdriver. Going back on, nice and smooth. It does have a magnetic end. On that button in the back, if you just hit that button once, it turns the light on the front on and off. So that's a pretty nice feature. So if you press it once, it's going to turn the light off. So now when I use it, light's not going to turn on. But if I turn and press it again, the light's going to be on whenever I'm using it. That didn't sound good. I kinda like the light on feature, so I'm gonna run it with the light on. So let's go ahead and drop this. Bow. And the last one, was able to pick him up and then run him in. So that basically got our A7 II back together. And if you didn't know how to take this bad baby off, it just comes off. I didn't necessarily have to take any screws off to take this bad baby off here. So this is the electric precision screwdriver set. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you check them bad babies out in the description below. Now you can use this on anything. It just is not used for cameras or camera lenses. You can use it with eyeglasses you can use it with fixing camera lenses if you wanted to get bold now you can use it with you know small repairs on electronics and stuff like that i don't have a lot of things that i want to take apart right now but i was in the market for this around three to four months ago when i had a small object project that I had to actually do. Now with using it around the studio, with using kind of like, you know, putting in quarter 20s and stuff on the bottom of the camera. Now that's gonna be, of course, a good, good use for it. If you were looking for any other use with camera stuff, you can use it to rig out your cameras just to get your screws set. Um, I wouldn't say use it as far as the torque as far as torquing down your screws, but to get your screws set and get started, I feel like it is a great, great tool and something that you guys should be looking to pick up. So check out these bad babies in the link in the description below. Anyways, this has been your boy Christian. Hope you have been enjoying the videos. If you have been liking this style of videos with the cinematics and everything, make sure you hit that like button. If you just happen to be new here, hit that subscribe button. It's been your boy Christian, and I'll see you guys on the next one.